The Eppenzeller Zennenhund originated as an all-around farm dog, who stayed busy herding the livestock, guarding the farm, and pulling carts in their native Switzerland. Today's Eppenzellers still have the same energy, smartness, and self-confidence that make them valuable working dogs. They need lots of exercise, training, and a job to do. So families who can provide the required mental and physical stimulation to these dogs will be rewarded with an affectionate and loyal companion. They'll also adore kids, although they may fall into some herding habits without proper training. Are you still confused if Appenzeller Zennenhund is the right breed for you? Well, you've come to the right place. Without further ado, let's get started with a list of top 10 interesting facts about the Appenzeller Zennenhund. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Appenzeller owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from their Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History The earliest origin of the Appenzeller Zennenhund is largely unknown, but one theory is that Zennenhunds are descended from the ancient molasses breed brought to the region by the Romans. These large mastiff-type dogs were used for guarding livestock and may have been given Zennenhunds their bone structure and instinctive herding mentality. Regional use and the breeding of the Zennenhund gave rise to four distinctive types within the breed group, including the smaller but sturdy Appenzeller. Despite the uncertainty of the breed's origin, it's well established that the Appenzeller was part of the daily life in the Alps by the 1800s. In fact, the earliest published description of the breed is dated from 1853 and describes the breed as a clearly barking, short-haired, medium-sized, multicolored cattle dog of a quite even spitz type which can be found in certain regions and is used partly to guard the homestead and partly to herd cattle. So from the breed's early beginnings, it's clearly evident that they were hard-working animals, equally capable of handling guarding and herding responsibilities. In the late 1800s, a forester from the Appenzeller region named Max Seiber recognized the need for a breeding program and started to preserve these special Zen and Hunts. In 1898, Mr. Seiber brought the breed to its first international dog show debut, and in 1906, the Appenzeller Zenenhund Club was founded and an official stud book was established. The Appenzeller was recognized by the United Kennel Club in 1993. The breed is under the Foundation Stock Service with the American Kennel Club, which means the organization supports the breed's development efforts, but it's not yet a registered breed. Number 2. Their Distinct Appearance The Appenzeller Zennenhund is considered to be a medium-sized dog with a heavy build. Males and females grow as tall as 22 inches at the withers. Male Appenzellers weigh up to 70 pounds, while females weigh up to 55. Their ears are small and triangular and hang down to their cheeks. They also have small, alert eyes and a curled tail. These dogs have a black or brown double coat with a very symmetrical markings. The top coat is tight, thick, and shiny, while their undercoat is also thick and can be black, brown, or gray. The coat should be straight with no curl or wave. There could be a slight wave to the coat on the back and withers, but it's not considered a desirable trait. Number 3. They make great guard dogs. Appenzellers bond very closely with their families and take on the role of a protective guardian with ease. Their protective nature makes them suspicious of people they don't know. It also makes them too quick to bark at any perceived threat. Both these qualities, when combined, make for a great watchdog. But it also means that the breed requires proper socialization so they don't become overly suspicious of people. Number 4. They need plenty of exercise The Appenzeller Zennenhund is an extremely energetic breed. They were originally bred to work and run on farms all day, and their exercise requirements reflect that heritage. An effort must be made to get your Appenzeller vigorous daily exercise unless you live somewhere with a lot of space for them to roam and run. To channel their energy, you can also train these active dogs for sports like agility, weight pulling, and obedience trials. Another thing to keep in mind is that Appenzellers will not do well if they spend a lot of time kenneled or crated due to their high energy level. They can get bored and destructive if they don't get enough exercise and mental stimulation. Number 5. They're not suited for hot climates Appenzeller Zennenhunds were bred for the life in the Swiss Alps, so their double coat makes them well suited for cold weather. If you live in the mountains or are looking for a furry friend to keep you warm on those winter camping trips, Appenzellers are the best dogs for you. However, their coat isn't that thick, so they can tolerate living in milder climates too. But there's a limit to this. If you live somewhere very warm, your Appenzeller will have the risk of suffering from heat strokes. So make sure you keep an eye on them when temperature starts to rise. Number 6. Their compatibility with children and other pets Appenzellers are fine to be kept around other animals, as they're not likely to cause any problem with dogs or other pets. Their size doesn't pose much of a threat to small pets, but you should still be careful, because their herding instincts can kick in any time. These dogs can get a bit nippy when herding, so make sure you socialize them with other pets as early as possible. Their friendly nature makes them a good choice for having around young children too but there might still be some issues if the child is not from their family or only brought in later in the dog's life. Number 7. 
they aren't suitable for apartment living. Appenzeller Zenenhunds were bred to herd livestock across the vast open spaces. While these dogs don't need a farm and flock to thrive, they do appreciate a large fenced yard and lots of opportunities for exercise. As such, these guys will probably not be suitable in an apartment. So if you live in condos and apartment buildings, Appenzeller may not be the right breed for you. These dogs will do better in larger homes and they will definitely look forward to having their own space, being as independent as they already are. Number 8. They are quite difficult to train. Although very intelligent, Appenzeller Zenenhunds can be a challenge to train. Getting an early start with puppy training and socialization is very important for these dogs. As we said earlier, Appenzellers are protective and suspicious of strangers by nature. Early socialization helps them learn to balance these instincts and behave appropriately around unfamiliar people and animals. Appenzellers can be stubborn, so they need firm and consistent training. But this doesn't mean that you should use harsh training methods. Appenzellers will respond best to respectful, positive training approaches. So you must issue short commands in a firm voice. You can also include lots of treats and words of praise. Number 9. Their grooming needs. Appenzeller Zenenhunds have a double-layered coat which consists of a thick undercoat and a shiny top coat. As a result, they shed quite a lot, so be prepared for plenty of dog hair around the house. Their hair sheds all year round and there's very little you can do about that. Make sure you brush your Appenzeller weekly using a slicker brush or a short bristle brush. This will help to remove any loose hairs and keep their coat looking nice and shiny. You should also aim to bathe your dog about once every month or so. But this should really be kept to a minimum as bathing strips their coat of its natural oils and so too much of it will cause the hair to look dull and will make it more fragile. You should be able to clean most of the mess off with a good brush and should save bathing until your dog gets really stinky. Another thing to remember is that the breed has floppy ears and floppy ears are the perfect place for ticks to hide, especially in the summer. So you should check their ears weekly for debris and clean them with a piece of damp tissue. As with any other breed, you gotta brush your Appenzeller's teeth several times a week to minimize tooth decay and you should provide chewed toys that promote oral health. You've also gotta trim their nails every few weeks. This should be too much of a problem if the dog is getting enough exercise. Walking wears the nails down, so they shouldn't really need trimming if they get daily walks. Number 10. They are very healthy. The Appenzeller Zenenhund is a relatively healthy breed for a number of reasons. The first is because they are currently not recognized by many major kennel clubs and so there is not such a push for the desired breed standard. This is why there are not any hereditary health complications in Appenzellers. Similarly, any breeding programs used for the breed, such as those conducted in Switzerland, have been carefully controlled to minimize the risk of conditions developing. This is obviously not the case for all genetic lines, but if you have any health concerns, then make sure you speak to a breeder. They'll be able to give you more accurate information about their specific line of dogs. Nonetheless, you can still be careful for some common health issues that can affect any dog such as hip dysplasia, cataracts, and epilepsy. It is also important that you keep up with regular vet checkups for detecting any health concerns early. Alright folks, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Appenzeller Zenenhund. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these super energetic dogs, then don't forget to share your experience living with them in the comments below. Please leave a video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends and family as well. For more interesting facts on different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.